Chapter 18 Leviathan Leviathan stands in the empty realm. It still hasn't been cleared of the mess. Dead plants still line the floors. Leviathan, is it? You must be Gabriel. Leviathan turns, looking into angelic eyes. How is the High Commander? Alive. And the crown? Gabriel walks in, looking at the abandoned room. Also alive. Gabriel nods at that answer, stuffing his hands in his pockets. Uh, so what now? Leviathan asks, sitting on the edge of the table that had been for Hell's counsel. Gabriel pulls a piece of paper from his pocket and hands it to Leviathan, who takes it tentatively and opens it. Death sent this to us yesterday. He shakes his head. Death killed Nurgle for contempt of court. Leviathan reads the letter before looking up at the angel. Shall we call this ordeal settled, then? We shall, Gabriel nods. Death said that Beelzebub tried to stop Nurgle, which tells us your side was acting in good faith. That's enough for me. I agreed. Leviathan hands him back the note. Hopefully this is the last we see one another. Gabriel nods, looking him up and down, but does extend his hand. Leviathan takes it, shakes it. Agreed. When Michael fully recovers, there are revisions to the treaties he would like to see enacted. Please get in touch with us at the soonest convenience when your leader is well. A good day and God bless. Gabriel takes back his hand and vanishes. Leviathan sighs and looks around. He has somewhere he needs to be. He closes his eyes, and when they open, he's standing just beside the river near the waterfall. It's dawn. The sun is rising in the east, and the air is cool. He walks to the edge of the water, looking up the falls as they pour down into the river below. It's still so beautiful. Raphael's voice catches him off guard, and he jumps, turning. I didn't mean to scare you. Leviathan writes himself and smooths out his jacket. I am not frightened, he feigns. Merely at your service, he takes the angel's hands in his own, leaning down to kiss Knuckles. How is your brother? Gabriel had said, but he wanted to hear this from Raphael. Well, he's back up and running. And yours? Still unconscious, last I knew, Leviathan says softly but they expect him to wake soon. Did you speak with Gabriel? Aye, moments ago, and we came to an agreement that it's over. Once Beelzebub and Michael are healed, they may wish to speak and come to terms over their contracts. That's diplomatic of Gabriel, Raphael snorts. He did not sound as though the ideas were of his design. Leviathan runs his fingers through Raphael's hair. Enough of Gabriel. Speak no more of his wills. I have until the dusk reaches New York to return to the throne to allow my sister her rest. Raphael leans into his kiss, and they hold one another. I have a few hours, he admits. Leviathan beams as they turn their eyes up to the moon, which still appears in the morning sky. Tis beautiful. I know you said not to talk about him, but the moon, that's Gabriel's, you know. He made it. Something to do with your waters. Tides, yes. Leviathan sighs. Perhaps we are of a kind, Gabriel and me. I would like to think you could get along if you could look past your everything. Leviathan snorts, but goes quiet with consideration. He has a few things on his mind. Some questions, but something else. Would you swim with me? He backs up and pulls his bandolier off, dropping it and his sword to the ground. He starts to kick off his boots. He pulls his pistol free of its sheath and drops it onto his shoes. In the water? Leviathan chuckles. Yes, it's where one swims. He shrugs. I beg of you this kindness. Raphael walks forward, feet bare, as he pushes up to the water. You talk about the tide. Leviathan pulls his leather coat off, dropping it over his boots. 
"'Twas the ocean, my love. This is a river. He motions. A current it has, yes, but it will not take you. He smiles and pulls his shirt off, dropping it down to a pile he's making. Come. He extends a hand. I shall not let you go. Raphael looks around, before pulling away from the outer layer of his robes, leaving just an expansive shirt below. He heaves a breath. If I hate this... Leviathan is already getting into the water. You won't. If I do, you will not. Leviathan reaches for him. For I will be with thee, to hold thee, protect thee. Raphael kisses him again, and he pulls the angel into the water. It's freezing! Leviathan touches the water a moment, and it warms slightly. Apologies, the chills of the depths do not alert me so. One is used to the cold and the pressure of the depths. Raphael is clinging to him. This is insanity. Madness? No. Leviathan smiles and kisses him again. Tis such a joy. Raphael's golden eyes seem to glow in the low light. Leviathan, what is your will? he says in a whisper. What happens if someone catches us, like a watcher? If we were to be caught and found to be worth destruction, I will follow you into nothingness. Raphael doesn't speak. He looks around as they float, holding on to each other. Raphael, I don't want to think about losing you, Raphael says. Now that I've just found you? He shakes his head. No, we'll find a way. Leviathan smiles at him. Perhaps, angelic one, perhaps. Secrets aren't exactly lying. And what will you say if someone asks what you did tonight? Me. That I saw the waterfall, that I went swimming, that I saw the moon, that I found it all rather easy to love. Such beautiful truths, Leviathan murmurs against Raphael's neck. Let's hope they are good enough for heaven. Raphael chuckles and kisses him. Leviathan smiles. I'm sure they are.